Hey there, this is Honey, and we're on the dashboard page inside blogger.com. When you log in, this should be the first page it takes you to. And in this video, we're going to continue working on the tinnitus blog that we started in the last video. And in this one, I want to focus on adding some elements to that sidebar down the right-hand side of the blog. To do this, we need to go to Layout. The first thing I want to add is a banner for the product that we're promoting. So I'm going to click on Add a Gadget, and it's going to bring up a window with all the gadgets in it. And we just scroll down until we see Picture, and click on the plus sign. Now because this is a banner ad, I'm not going to put a title or a caption, but this link here that's where we need to put our affiliate link so that when they click on that banner it will take them to the product vendors page what I'm gonna do is pull up the Clickbank ID that I got yesterday and I'm just gonna copy and paste that right there then I'm gonna look for the image which is in the folder I stored it in on my desktop oh and you know what I did exactly what I told myself don't do because I want to show you something. I forgot to uncheck a box. So it's very easy to fix. I'm just going to remove the image. And it's left my link. This is the box I forgot to uncheck. I don't want it to be that small. So I don't want it to, sh it doesn't need to shrink to fit. That right hand column is plenty big enough. So we'll go back and get the image again. Now click on save and it's added it to the sidebar. And what I want to do is bring it down right there we can see what it looks like and if we scroll down just a little ways there it is there's our banner okay so let's go ahead and save this and now we can go and view it and you'll see that it's a link now you see the little hand on it means that you can click on that and it takes us to the sales page now what if you get your banner up there and decide that you don't like how it looks you can move it just by left clicking and dragging it where you want it to go. You can preview it again if you want and if you decide you like it in that position better then you just click save. Another thing that would be good to add down that sidebar are some links, some outgoing links to some authority sites on this topic tinnitus. So one of the places I'm gonna go is WebMD and I just typed in tinnitus into the search bar and it brought up 106 results and WebMD is considered an authority site by Google. So what I want to do is go up to the address bar and just copy that URL and I'm just going to make a note of it. I did the same thing with Wikipedia which is another known authority site and this is the Wikipedia page for tinnitus. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to copy and paste that URL so I'll have it in just a few minutes when I need it. And then one other site I, I think would be good to add is Google Knoll, K-N-O-L. It's a unit of knowledge and this is one of Google's own sites so I thought it'd be a good idea to have that as an outgoing link as well. And just like with the other two I'm just gonna copy and paste that URL into my notepad. Now we're gonna head on back to Blogger and we're gonna add a gadget and this time we're looking for a link list and right here it is. So we're gonna click on that and now we get to configure the link list. We can give it a title. I think I'll just say tinnitus resources. I'll leave this blank so that it will show all links. You can choose to let them appear randomly or you can sort them alphabetically. I'm going to try alphabetically or you can sort reverse alphabetically. Now the new site URL we're just going to copy and paste and the new site name we'll call it what it is WebMD and click on add link. Now it gives us another one to fill out. So we can come right back over here, copy and paste the wiki, Wikipedia is the name, and add that link. And then for the last one, Google Null. And you see right down here are the links we've already added. And you can edit them or delete them. So now we've got our three links. And you could have more if you wanted, but for this example, three is plenty. So there's our resources above the picture and we can see what that looks like. Alright, I'm not crazy about it being above the picture. I think I'll move it around just a little bit. So I'm gonna left click and drag this right below the picture might be better. Yeah, I like it better there. But of course you can put it wherever you want to. When you're happy with it, 
you can click save and of course you can come back and change it at any time now something else you may want to add at some point is AdSense now some people say add it some people say don't I just want to show you how to and then let you make up your own mind we'll go up here and click on monetize and because I want it over in that sidebar that's the radio button I'll click and then click on next and it's been enabled on the blog so let's take a look now you'll notice that these ads are not about tinnitus they have nothing to do with tinnitus and when you first put AdSense on your blog you'll encounter the same thing as soon as Google has had a chance to figure out what your blog is about the ads will be relevant to your topic now I like the ads on there but I don't like where they are so I want to edit the layout and I think I'll put the AdSense under the resources and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna like that so I wanna go ahead and save it and we'll take a quick look and there's our banner and there's our resources and there's our AdSense we're really filling up that right hand side and I think I will make one more quick change I don't care for this followers thing I may come back here later and add a subscribe box in there but for right now I'm gonna remove that element and you can see the little note up here deleted followers view the blog we didn't even have to click on save and the followers box is gone for now we're gonna leave the right hand side and I'm gonna make another post so we're gonna go back up here and click on posting and what I want to do is show you how easy it is to insert a YouTube video right on your blog earlier I went to YouTube and found a video on tinnitus right here and what we're looking for is where it says embed and there's a little icon over to the right and if you want to click on that you can change the color of the border you can choose to show related videos or show a border on it if you want it to look that way I kinda like that I think I'll leave it but I like it green since the sites green and you can choose different sizes I'm gonna take this 445 by 364 we'll see how that does so we can close this and what we want to do if you just click well it reopened it if you just click on the embed box that's got all that code in it just left click on that and it'll highlight it for you and then you control C to copy it and you go back to blogger and click on the edit HTML and all you're gonna do is control V and you're gonna paste that code and we can preview it and it shows you exactly how it's gonna look you can even play it here if you want to we won't sit through the whole thing but just to show you it it does play in the preview window now we probably ought to give it a title and I did watch the video and I'm gonna title it because they repeat this throughout the video and I think it'll help make people curious and it'll get them to play it means they stay on the site longer oh let's put a couple of uh, labels on here okay and then we'll click publish post and see what happens let's go take a quick look and see that's a little big I mean it looks good as far as it shows up on the on the page but that's a little big so I'm gonna go back and get the smaller one so I'm gonna go back a page I wanna edit this post let's go back to YouTube and let's pick the smaller one and it might help if we don't have the border so now we'll just copy and paste that again and go back to our box let's highlight this whole thing and control V to paste the new code in there so let's publish that and see if that's better oh yeah that's much better now you can see that this put this second post on a new page and I don't really want it to be that way I want our first post to stay at the top of the page and we will address that issue in the very next video I'll see you there